Let's bring in Ron Epstein, uh, B of A uh, Securities, uh, Aerospace Analyst. Uh, and Ron, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you uh, this morning. What, what, do you know anything that we don't, that we, we haven't tried to talk about already uh, as to whether this is a, an Alaska Air problem or a Spirit Aerosystem Supply problem or a 730, another 737 MAX problem? Yeah, good, good morning, Joe. Um, yeah, obviously, the NT, NTSB has been working closely on it, um, and I listened uh, closely to their uh, press conference last night. And in fact, all the press conferences they've had, you know, they've been trying to follow the, the, the chain of facts. You know, it's, it's unclear at this point um, the, the the root cause of this. Um, just you know, just unofficially, it's it seems like it's not a maintenance issue. I mean, this is an airplane that was delivered in late October. Um, so it really is it, you know, was it a, uh, was it a Boeing issue? Was it a spirit issue or was it, um, you know, spirit doesn't build the door. They get the door from somebody else. Uh, you know, the real question here is, and I think you have to put this into perspective. Imagine Joe, if you went and you bought a, a, a car uh, in late October, uh, pick your favorite car, whatever it was. Uh, and then you went out, uh, uh, just two days ago, opened the door and it fell off. Um, you know, these these door plugs are nothing new, right? I mean, they've been used in, in other Boeing airplanes and other Airbus airplanes. It's sort of like a standard thing. Uh, but what happened clearly wasn't wasn't supposed to happen. Um, I think investors are kind of, you know, wanna, everybody's kind of jumping to sort of whatever. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. Um, you know, if we if we knew exactly the chain of events, we could say that, but 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 we don't. But most certainly it shouldn't have happened. And, and, and the bigger question here is on, a, on an airplane that, you know, right now, Boeing is not um, certificating these airplanes. The FAA is. That responsibility was taken away from Boeing. You know, it wasn't caught by the FAA, who certificates the airplane. It went through the Boeing process, uh, and you know, Boeing didn't catch this. And if it did indeed happen at the supplier, uh, at Spirit Aerosystems, uh, they didn't catch it either. Um, you know, everybody got very lucky in this situation because this really could have been horrible. Um, and, 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 you know, it, they, luckily, it, it wasn't. Uh, and it, it seems like the FAA is taking a, a cautious approach to this just to make sure that, all right, we, we fully understand what's going on here. Um, you know, I, if you were to, from a financial perspective, uh, the modest good news here is, is most likely this is not a design issue because it's a very standard thing used in the industry. But a fabrication issue, an assembly issue, and where did that issue happen and why wasn't it caught? Uh, and that, that's what gives me pause. And, you know, at, at this point, it's it's one of those things where, you know, the the, the, the MAX program was inching back some some confidence um, that that kind of gets blown away by this. Uh, you know, Boeing's reputation was you know, kind of, you know, again, the same thing. Um, this this kind of gets impacted by that. But but the reality is, Joe, there's really only two airplane manufacturers, uh, major air, air, airplane manufacturers right now, uh, Boeing and Airbus. Uh, there's a ton of demand for airplanes. So uh, I, I can't imagine, unless we're interpreting some of this stuff wrong, that this will have ultimately that big an impact on uh, the 737 MAX program for now, uh, given the situation with the duopoly industry and tons of demand uh, for airplanes. Yeah, uh, hopefully, so my, 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 yeah hopefully it's not a quality control uh, issue that, 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 that involves you know, just in general, the way the way that uh, business as usual has become, I mean, because they can look at every plane that has one of these plugs that they can obviously look at it now. And I'm sure there's a way they can test to make sure that it's, um, you know, that, that, you know that, that this doesn't happen again. And in that case, you're right. Nothing, you know, the worst case scenario didn't occur. And now we're, we've got a, a heads up to, to look at more closely at, at all the, the, the planes that do. But